feel these kids' feet. Wow, they're really soft. People were looking back at old scenes and saying, Dan Schneider is obsessed with feet. Check this out. It's all very gross really and foul Impossible to escape children's feet. Dan Schneider. Got Absolutely a disgusting. He's a grown ass man. What the f are you doing? Okay, you guys, so a documentary came out called Quiet On Set and it's based on Nickelodeon and what Dan Snyder did to the Nickelodeon stars behind the scenes. Drake Bell spoke out and other Nickelodeon stars spoke out. Amanda Bynes didn't want to speak out on the situation. Amanda's relationship with Dan was very close. He thought that he should be the one to kind of usher Amanda into adulthood. It's a very delicate transition to make from child star to adult person, never mind adult actor. What's the cost of fame in your opinion? Um, people like having to be involved in your personal life. Oh, enough out of you. <laughs> she wanted to be a grown up. She still lived at home, you know, so there were some rules. Amanda and her parents were not getting along. Amanda was dating someone. He was older. You know, you're 16 years old and you think you're an adult and you know everything. But her parents, being good parents, said, hey, I can't do that. And I think she didn't like hearing, I can't. Amanda tries to run away from home and in this moment she turns to Dan for help. The details are a little bit murky, but we know from sources that the police were involved. And we also know that Amanda's parents are really, really upset with Dan's actions through this. But around this time, Amanda turns to Dan and other representatives to come up with a plan to get her emancipated and get her a new level of independence. This plan takes her parents completely by surprise. You know, parents, Dan Schneider, the, Dan Schneider's the guy responsible for my career. She's a teenager and that's a lot to put on somebody knowing that no matter what decision you make, you're gonna hurt someone who means something to you it is difficult. Dan inserting himself into Amanda's life like this is really ethically fraught. I think that there is an argument that can be made that he was trying to help Amanda, but unfortunately for Dan, this goes to court and it entirely fails. In the 90s, mostly in the 2000s, most of us grew up watching our favorite stars on Nickelodeon. To now find out the mental abuse and sexual abuse these stars went through, and that is including Amanda Bynes, who was one of Nickelodeon's biggest stars and also was considered the princess of Nickelodeon. Amanda first appeared on TV screens at age 11 as a cast member for Nickelodeon's sketch show, All That. Following the success from all of that, Amanda went so big to the point she got her own very TV show called The Amanda Show, which she received numerous awards for the show. But also the reason why Amanda got her own show because she really had a close relationship with Dan Schneider at the age of 12. Now, get into this guys. Amanda Bynes tweeted years ago that she was impregnated by her boss at 13 years old and many people think it's Dan Schneider after the documentary Quiet on the Set was released. So Amanda exposed everything years ago on her secret Twitter account and the secret account went by the name of Ashley Banks. And she said she made this secret account because at the time Amanda's parents were controlling everything she was doing and she wanted the freedom and the truth to be heard. So Amanda posted pictures of herself and her ID to show it was really her on that secret account and this is what she said i've been forced to deny this account to prevent them from having me committed against my will this is just another ploy and scare tactic for them to keep my money forever they won i must do everything they say in order to keep my freedom i'm sorry can you imagine having an abortion at 13 because your boss impregnated you committed because your father touched you exposing the truth and then having your freedom threatened and at one time amanda Bynes almost moved in with dan schneider and his wife at age 16 and also dan schneider was let go from nickelodeon in 2018 for allegations of abuse and in the documentary it reveals dan schneider often tested boundaries which included off-colored jokes which starred and aimed at children and this is what mostly disturbed me and it involved ariana grande take a look have you ever said something like a sentence and thought to yourself wow like, I bet nobody else on earth has ever said those exact words that I just said. That happens to me a lot. 
So now, just for fun, I'm gonna say three sentences that I bet not one person has ever said before in the history of mankind. Sentence number one. Oh man, my uvula got stuck between that hamster's toes. See, that could never happen because your uvula is that swingy thing in the back of your throat right here. So there's no way you could get it stuck between a hamster's toes. Sentence number three. Ah! I'm soaking wet. Quick, somebody bring me the ocean. No one would ever say that. Why? Because if you were soaking wet and you were upset about it, the last thing you'd want is for somebody to bring you the ocean. Because the ocean is even more wet than even the wettest person in the world. Have you ever tried to get your whole big toe in your mouth? Check this out. Sometimes I wonder if you can get juice from a potato. Is it possible for a teenage girl to drink water upside down? Mmm, I'm thirsty! It's not possible! Can you imagine what life would be like with hippopotamus teeth? Now, Ariane Grande definitely might suffer from trauma from what she went through on Nickelodeon, and she is the biggest out of all of them. That's why I feel like she doesn't want to speak out on it as well. One fan said, Why isn't Ariane Grande speaking up? She's the most famous Nickelodeon star of all. Her speaking up could really make a huge impact. She needs to do it to honor all of the victims. But anyway, guys, tell me how you guys felt about this video down below. And tell me if you feel like Dan Schneider in the whole of Nickelodeon should get shot down. But make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.